So you're going to take the two colors that you're using and you're going to just hold them together and do a little overhand knot with the two of them together. Do you have two colors there? I do. I have green and blue. And it would have been nice if they were more distinctive. I'm sorry about that. So I've just done that little overhand knot to tie the two of them together. Can you hand me my scissors there on the, like the third shelf? Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. That's great. Okay. And then I'm going to put one color on the needle. So I'm putting the blue on the needle. And in your book, they have a lighter color and a darker color pictured. So we'll just pretend like the blue is the darker color. I think it's called Thread A. And because this is slippery thread, you may want to just take a little bit of PVA and glue the tail of your thread to the longer piece. I don't usually do this at home, but when you're first learning, it's hard to keep track of the thread and do everything else that you have to do. So this kind of simplifies a little bit. But I told you to get this leather cord that you can get um, at Joann's or any of those places. It's a nice diameter, and it's inexpensive, and it works just great. So we've got our core, and it's cut wider than the text block. You can see it's about a half inch wider on both sides. So with those things, we are ready to start the press. And this, this. Um, oftentimes can be a little confusing. So watch how I put the book in the press. I've got the, the end of my book, the, let's say this is the head of my book, sticking up above the boards about an inch. And I, I want to be able to um, see both the head of the book and a little bit of the spine. So when I put it in the press, I'm going to angle the book so that it's the head is tilted towards me and that gives me access to the spine of the book. Okay. And so I'm just going to secure it in in the press. <coughs> now I can't sew end bands lower than the end band and I think you'll find that if you can um, either stand to do yours or something so that you, you've got a good vantage point. I think it's helpful. An end band is simply a series of wrappings around that core. And in this end band, we're going to wrap twice with each color. We'll wrap twice, then we'll make what's called a bead with the other color, and then we'll wrap with that color. Make a bead with the first color, then wrap with it. And so we're just doing an a alter, alternation of the two colors. And you can see in your book, if you look um, at the end end, and I'll pass this one around again, you can see the little tiny bead right at the base of the end end, and you can see the wrapping of the two colors. So that will help you know where where we're going. So we are going to start by going into the middle of that contrasting half signature that you put on the outside of your book. So I've just gone in two, two pages to the middle of that contrasting half signature. And I've got the needle angled, but the point of the needle is up against the fold of the signature. And I'm just going to drag the needle up until it hits the kettle stitch hole. And it will it will find it. So I'm just dragging it up, dragging it, and there it was. It just kind of fell into, into the 
kettle hole. So then I'll push the needle through and I'm going to pull it until the knot that I made with the two colors of thread is up against the fold on the inside of the signature. Now I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to go back in at the very same place, I'm going to come out the very same hole, and what I've done is made a loop. Can you see that? Did you just put it right where it was? Mm -hmm. I just went right back in the same place and came out the same place. That makes a loop that I can put my cord in. And notice that the leather, whoops, I missed it. Notice that the leather is sitting on top of the book. It's not sitting on the, against the spine. It's sitting on top of the book. That's important. If I, if I put it back here, then when I case my book in, it'll be in the case. It won't ever show. So it needs to sit on top of the text block. When you went out the first time, you went in the middle of the contrasting paper, mm -hmm. but through the hole that was already there? Uh, through the kettle stitch hole. Okay. Uh -huh. Yep. And then I came, I went up, around, back in the same place, and out the same hole. Okay. All right. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to secure that one little loop of thread that's on the, on the leather cord. I'm going to secure it so that it won't fall off the cord when I trim it. So I'm going to take the other thread, the green thread in this case, and I'm going to go counterclockwise underneath the cord all the way around, 360 degrees. So I've wrapped that green thread all the way around that little loop that I made to hold the to hold it onto the, the leather cord. So now I've got one strand of blue thread on the cord. I need two strands of blue thread. So I'm just going to bring the needle. Quick question. Yeah. So for the green thread, you wrapped it underneath the uh -huh. leather? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So now I'm just going to bring the blue thread over top of the cord and that gives me two strands of blue thread. So now I'm ready to make my first bead. The bead is simply when I take the opposite color, I go over top of that second thread that just came over the leather cord. I go over top of the thread, under the cord, and I pull it tight back here. So now the green thread's back here, the blue thread's up here. I'm ready to wrap with the green thread. So I'm going to come over once, right next, and I'm going to angle the needle mm -hmm. so that hopefully... So you wouldn't want it between two signatures, right? It doesn't matter. That works too. It doesn't matter, just as long as it's underneath. So I'm just angling the needle so that hopefully, and I went too far, it'll come out close to the kettle stitch. I missed it. I'm not going to pull it out and try again because I don't want a bunch of holes on the inside of my, of my um, pages. So I'm just going to say, well, that one was a little low, but we'll call it good. All right, and the needle came off. That's good. <laughs> so I've got a little PVA to munch on. Okay, so I have one strand of blue thread. Now I'm going to bring it over the second time. I'm going to tuck the blue thread in to the text block. And I'm going to take the green thread and make the bead. So here's the bead. 
Now I'm going to wrap with the green thread. There's once, twice, tuck it in. When you tuck the, th the new thread in, you always tuck on the right side of the thread that's already tucked so that then you can make the bead with it. So here goes my blue thread. There's the bead. Come over once, but this is the th thread with the needle on it. So I need to go into the text block. It's hard. I'm going to give each of you a little scrap of board that you can use to push your needle with. So are we going in um, every signature? Is a new one? It, you just go in wherever you are. Okay. So it, I think it does figure out that you go in about every signature, but it's not deliberate where you go in other than it's right below where you okay. are. Okay, so there's one blue thread. I'm going to bring this second one over, tuck it down into the text block. Now I'll make the bead with the green. So I go over the blue thread with the green, cinch it tight. And now I'll wrap once, twice, and tuck the green thread in. Judy, does the thread that does not have the needle, it, does it always make the bead? They both make the bead. Okay. They both make the bead, but, um, but the one with the needle is the only one that goes into the text block, obviously. So here's the blue. It has the needle, but it's making a bead. Pull it tight, come over once, go into the signature. If you don't go into the signature right below where the thread is, um, it pulls, it makes a gap in the, in the sewing of your end band. So it's important that it's right beneath where, where that thread is. So about how long do you want each of the silk threads? About 18 inches should do. Uh huh. You don't want to run out if you can help it at all. So your blue thread, you're only wrapping once? Nope, I, I just came over the second time. Oh, okay. yep. you, the first time is when you go into the signature, and then the second one you just bring it okay, over for the sense. second. Uh huh. Okay, so there's one. Two greens. So it's just back and forth. And it's it's fussy for the first third of the way across your um, end band, but once you get about a third of the way, then it, it starts to cooperate. So don't don't get frustrated right at the beginning. The leather that I bought is bigger than yours. Is if that it, gonna make a difference? Yeah, is that it is. Too big? Your headband or end band should be proportionate to your book. Okay. And um